Welcome to my channel. So today I just wanted to, as quickly as possible, share with y'all just a few things that I have just been reaching for lately. Everything in this video, you guys, I have been using, reaching for constantly, like multiple times a week, not just like once or twice and then I'm done. I love watching these kind of videos and I love making them for you guys, just in case you're in the mood to do a little bit of shopping. Look, Mother's Day goes all month long. I'm just letting you guys know. Just in case you forgot or didn't get the memo. And that goes for giving and buying for yourself. So whatever's for my bathroom, I'll do first. And then I just have a few clothing items and that's really it, no home today, no anything like that. So let's get right into it. So first things first are these two Fenty products, you guys. The first one is the Fenty Skin Melt off um, makeup remover. Y'all, I have used the crap out of this when I got it. I fell absolutely in love. It does its job. It removes all my makeup. More importantly, it does not sting my eyes. I have been a Clinique take the day off girl for years now. But this one right here, y'all, this is so so freaking good. Cause it like pumps right here. I love the way it comes out, it dispenses. I'm just a sucker for that kind of stuff. You feel like you just need a whole bunch of this like jelly or whatever they wanna call it, but you do not, you guys. You will run through this faster than you think you will. So don't use too much, a little bit goes a long way, but it's so good. It's absolutely one of my favorites right now. Along with, and I know I'm late to the game on this one, the Fenty Skin Cookies and Cream Mask. So I've been wanting to get this mask for a while, you guys. I just never got it. I felt like it was a little bit gimmicky. Um, even though I had really good reviews, I don't know if it was the name that kind of turned me off, the Cookies and Cream or what it was, but I finally went on ahead and picked it up. It works really well on my skin. It does a really good thorough cleanse, just removing the dirt and junk and all that kind of stuff from your pores. I like it. I'm also a maskaholic, so I go through a lot of masks. I try a lot of face masks as well. I will let you guys know what's good, what's bad, what's okay. I like this one. Next is my Handy Water Salve. I think that's how you pronounce it. Basically, it's just a moisturizer for the shower. So once you finish washing your body, exfoliating, all that good stuff, you're gonna take this stuff right here, you're gonna scoop it out, smother it all over your body. I give myself like a really light, you know, like a body massage, I kinda take my time. It smells amazing. Oh, I love the smell, you guys, and I'm not a fragrant girl, but this has a light floral scent, and I'm really not a floral rose type of girl, but I love the smell of this. You guys know I mentioned the water bomb. It's in my bathroom. I'm almost out. The water bomb in my last video I did. I love the water bomb. I love this just as much. Basically, like I was saying, you put this all over your body. Let it. I let mine sit for like a minute or two, and then you just quickly, like I quickly do like a little spin in the shower. You don't want to like rinse it off or anything like that. You just want to let the water take off the excess and then you get out the shower and then you kind of towel dry really lightly, kind of blot drying your skin. And it's basically your body is already moisturized. I love this on its own. I just did it last night. Didn't put any extra moisturizer on. When I'm feeling a little bit dry all over my body, my knees or thighs or wherever the case may be, I'm a little bit ashy, a little bit drier than usual. I will take like my Aveeno oil spray or some type of oil um, to kind of lock all the moisture in as well. So far I picked up two products by Hanny and I've loved them both. Eventually I will have the whole collection. Next you guys, I know I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. G Jisoo, is that right? I know you guys have seen this everywhere but it's the Honey Infused Lip Oil. I can't get enough of this stuff. I try and make sure I have this or my Fenty oil with me at all times. You know how some lip products, you put them on and you expect your lips to be more hydrated, moisturized, all that great stuff, and they end up making your lips drier than before. This doesn't do that. I really love this, you guys, and I like the shape of it. I just think it's cute. But so far, this lip oil has been a go-to of mine for a few weeks now. Next, let's talk about this snail mucin. Fun fact, 
I've had this for months. I got this last year, last fall, I think. And it just stayed underneath my cabinet. I totally forgot about it because I get, I have just so many products. I totally forgot about it until I was on TikTok or something and I saw like this going around. I was like, oh my God, I bought this a long time ago. I have been using it for weeks now and I just told my sister this with another thing that I'm about to show you guys, I've been using together and my skin has not looked better. Basically the overall texture of my skin has like really changed. It's looking really good. Don't be stingy when you're putting it on and it does have kind of like a sticky feeling to it. So this has many benefits y'all. It helps to reduce fine lines, wrinkles, helps with hyperpigmentation. Like I said, helps with texture. Y'all, it's just good, good, good stuff. They have it at Ulta now, but I got mine off of Amazon. So yeah. I think you need this. The other thing that's really helped my skin is the Dr. Dennis Gross Overnight Texture Renewal Peel. Basically, you guys, they're just these little pads. Everybody loves Dr. Dennis Gross for the, um, y'all know, I can't even think of the pads that everybody uses, but they're a resurface and repair. They have retinol in them for moderate to advanced signs of aging. And I feel like you get 16 big pads. Let me show you guys how big it comes. They are a little bit on the pricier side, but they're so worth it. Highly recommend at least taking a look at these, seeing if it's something you need in your skincare and then going from there. My last two products for skin are from Murad. The first is the Deep Relief Acne Treatment. Medicated acne serum to treat pimples for clear, calm, comfortable skin. If you have really deep, um, pimples, you have cystic acne, maybe this could help. But whenever I get really deep breakouts, I'll get them like on my cheeks and stuff or around like my temples or something like that. I will take a Q-tip, just put it in here and then just kind of rub it on my skin. Just kind of massage it on there. It says use AM or PM. It has 2% salicylic acid in it. Apply an even layer on affected areas. I say you can probably use this twice a day. I only used it for a pimple that was really hurting. It was like, oh my gosh, I was dying. And after day two, I felt so much relief. They can be painful, you guys. So take a look at this. This is definitely a really great option for your breakout. Another thing I've been really, really loving, you guys, I'm gonna stress this, is this product from Murat. It's an oil and pore control mattifier, and it has an SPF of 45. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, because we here, we family. I don't really use sunscreen. I've never really used it as much like resurfacing products and peeling products and AHAs and BHAs that I've used. I've never really used like on a consistent basis a SPF. And I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. You gotta get your life together. I never really liked them because I already have oily skin. I already have really large pores and yada, yada, yada. And I always felt like any SPF on my face, of course I use it on my body, but on my face would just make me look even oilier, faster, and never really worked well under makeup until I found this, you guys. This has been a game changer for me. A lot of times just during the week, I would just wear this on its own. It does keep you matte still. It tries to control that oil. I definitely see a difference there just by using it. Y'all, I will be picking this up consistently until I find something else or I don't even wanna find anything else right now. I'm just gonna stick with this. I've been using it every single day. So if you're into skincare, even if you're not, um, you should definitely be using an SPF. And if you're an oily girl, you're an oily man, you're an oily human, try this mattifier plus SPF from Murat. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So two things that are not skincare, body care, all that great stuff are right here. The first one I've really been loving and if you watch my wig videos, my hair videos, I've mentioned this plenty of times, but it's my Even Lace Wonder sorry, Wonder Lace Bond. It's a melting spray. I have mine in the Extreme Firm Hold Supreme. I love this stuff, you guys. I am not a glue girl when it comes to my wigs or anything. I've been using the TG Bedhead Hairspray for years. Now I'm at this. This is so good. It melts your lace 
so fast. The hold is amazing, doesn't leave any residue, and you need the smallest amount. You do not need a lot of this stuff, you guys. Next, you guys, are these cluster lashes. I made a whole video about these. I love these things. This is my third um, pack of the cluster lashes. This is in the fluffy O2C mix. I have tried a different lash style, hated it. So I went back to the first one that I picked up, which is this one. I can't remember which one I tried. Same brand and everything. I just picked a different, you know, just pick a different style. And I did not like them, you guys. They were horrible. These fluffy, the fluffy O2C mix are the ones. It comes with a bond. It comes with a seal. It also comes with a lash remover. So make sure you pick it all up at once. I'll put the link to it down below. It takes me two seconds to put these on. They feel so much. I don't even feel them. I'm gonna say they feel so much better than strip lashes. You can't even feel them. I don't feel them at all. They go from lengths eight millimeter all the way up to 16 so you can customize them. I will put the link to the video to the demo that I did trying these out and showing you exactly how I do it. I'll put that down below just for you to take a peek at. I highly recommend trying these out. Y'all, one other thing I forgot to mention, that's beauty. I have to put this in here. This is the Remington flat iron. Y'all, I needed a flat iron that was cheap, but I wanted something really wide, but I didn't want to spend the money on a wider one because I'm just being cheap. It just is what it is. I picked up this Remington, y'all. It was like 30 bucks. It's so good, it's so good. I use this on my natural hair, I use it on my wigs. It just, it gets so freaking hot, so be careful. Definitely adjust the temperatures. I just had to put this out there if your niece or your daughter or whoever, they want a new flat iron or you, you need a new flat iron, you don't wanna spend a lot of money but you want something good, check this out. I think you will be happy with it just like me. Next you guys, let's talk a few things as far as wearables go. First are my sandals. These are the cushion air sandals, y'all. I love cushion air. I picked up the clogs during the fall. Love those, wear those half to death. They still look really good. I love these things. They're so lightweight and they're really good quality. They give you Birkenstock vibes without the Birkenstock price. I highly recommend them. Something else I want to show you guys because it's super cute are these little tops. I have two of them. They're actually see-through. You see what that? They're actually see-through, they're long sleeve. They take like a basic long sleeve and just add a little something to it. You can wear it in the spring. I'm sure you can even wear it in the summer depending on where you live and where you're going and what the occasion is as well. And you can definitely wear these in the fall. Y'all can wear these all year round. I do recommend hand washing though. Do not put these in the washer. Next you guys, I have these little bralettes. I picked these up from Amazon a while ago and they they come in many different colors. I wanna say eight different bralettes for like $25. I can't remember the price, you guys, but they're really good to just wear around the house. They don't really offer much support, so keep that in mind. Um, and they do come with like little pads. They're really comfortable. Two other things I have, you guys. First, let me talk about the Abercrombie jeans. I have them in the Curve Love. Y'all, if you don't own a pair, I don't care if you black, white, purple, green, turquoise. If you got some body on you, you got some booty, some hips or whatever, and you have not tried the Curve Love Jeans from Abercrombie & Fitch, y'all, they're absolutely amazing. By far my favorite brand of jeans to wear. They're so flattering on, they come in tons of different sizes for everyone and also lengths get you some. They're worth every single penny. Also, if you haven't stepped into Abercrombie lately, I highly recommend going in. It's one of my favorite places to shop. Go check these denim jeans. Last but not least, y'all, is this denim skirt I picked up from Amazon. You guys love this on Instagram. If you're not following me, make sure you do. It's a midi length skirt, y'all, but it buttons up on the side or the front or however you want to style it. I just paired it like this. Um, I will say if you got some booty, you got some thighs like me, I got some thighs and some booty back there. Keep in mind, this will not allow you to really button it closed all the way. Also, I do recommend this like 
for vacation, something along those lines, you guys. I never thought I'd be stepping into a denim skirt because that was so like elementary for me, going to church or something like that. I don't know. Wearing denim skirts was not something I saw in my future, but this one is super cute. Y'all, my friends, that is it for this video. I will put everything down below in the description box just in case you wanna check it out. Make sure you hit the links down there, all that great stuff. Also, if you haven't given me a thumbs up, please, I would definitely appreciate it. And subscribe as well. Make sure you do so. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, all that great stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye! If somebody's heaven, tell me who's